The Chester community gathering tonight to remember two young lives cut entirely too short. The nine year old and 12 year old boys were both killed by an Amtrak train. This happening over the weekend. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson has a story now from Chester. It's really a difficult time as so many grieve the loss of these two young children. The vigil tonight was attended by hundreds of people speaking to the impact this tragedy has had on this community. And one thing that we can always depend on is for Chester to unite together in times like this. The tragic deaths of 12 year old Jihad Atkinson and nine year old Ayer Womack hit and killed by an Amtrak train last weekend. <laughs> Way heavy on those near and far, especially loved ones. I already lost a lot and losing my brother, it hurts. Like my heart is completely broken. This is Ayer's older sister. Out of all my siblings, he was the one that was a year apart from me. And Jihad's uncle. He used to come over my house, used to play video games, used to make food for him. I wasn't really expecting this. This is the last thing I was talking about. Everyone still trying to process through the grief in their absence, but friends, family and supporters finding strength in numbers. Hundreds gathered at Friday night's candlelight vigil at MLK Park near where they were killed and where groups of kids reportedly hang out on the same tracks. Seen today, Amtrak police observing the area and fencing. This is a park and I think that kids uh, should be safe um, within the park, whether it's us putting more gates around. But today was about healing. And I'll rise up. The aunt of Jihad leading the crowd with a powerful message of prayer and faith. My nephew didn't reach the age of 12, so his spirit and his, his soul is resting in God's hands. He is an angel and, and that will watch over his siblings. Just pray for the family. Pray for the other little boy's family as well. And here at the vigil, it was announced that the Chester Community Charter School will help pay for both funerals. Reporting from Chester, Sharifa Jackson for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.